Hey everybody, I'm Dr. Plasma, and I like cozy spaces. Today we're going to simulate something impossible. The one by one elevator. Because you need two pistons next to each other, a true one by one elevator isn't really possible. But, as you can see, we're in one right now. You can pretend it is, and you can hide it so that it's secret. And today, I'm going to show you how to make one. It's actually pretty cool. Let's get started. As you can see here, there's no visible sign of the elevator, but I can make it visible if I put a button right here on this wall. And what will happen is it will bring the elevator, and when the elevator arrives, the wall will open up. And now we have a one by one elevator, and I can put a button here, and now we will go down. Neat, right? Very simple. So let's actually take a closer look at this one, and then we'll dissect it. So right here, we've got a number of parts to it. It's actually a little bit more complicated than you would think to do this, because you need to fire timings on each of these, and you need to detect the elevator when it arrives. And so it's going to be a number of pieces. Right in here, let's dissect it. Right here, you've got the elevator detector, and what's going to happen is it's going to pass a signal through the elevator when it arrives. So you'll notice this doesn't connect, but when the elevator connects, when we push the button, or when we do this, the elevator is going to connect the circuit. And so the circuit will cause the door to open like that. We've got a pulse extender, and the pulse extender is going to cause it so that when it goes down, it's going to eventually shut the door so that the door is not left open. And the door will be closed as soon as this wears out because what's going to happen is this is going to come on and it's going to send a single pulse over here to push these blocks on these pistons. And so what we've got, if we were to dissect it now, we've got some pistons that don't, that aren't sticky on this side. We've got pistons that are sticky on this side. We've got a tower of terracotta that actually forms the back of the elevator. And then we've got the elevator itself. And we're going to hold that elevator wall and push it back and forth with the floor. So this section of the elevator, terracotta, uh, the elevator shaft, is going to actually be pushed back and forth by the elevator itself. So that's all of the pieces of it. Over here, we just want to have a two tick delay that's got a one tick pulse. And we'll do that with a pair of observers. And if we put it into this middle piston like this, that will power all three of them. And I'm gonna do the same thing over here. The difference is we're just going to pass power into an observer for one tick and this one for one tick and then this one for two ticks. That way it pushes and pulls because it needs to have a two tick long pulse. All right, does that make sense? So there's a number of things. I'll let you take a closer look like this, but that's about all there is to it. You just need to make sure that you don't touch it except for on purpose right here where you're passing the signal through. All right, let's get started on building one. So this is what you're going to need to build it. So what you wanna do is you wanna start a few blocks off the ground like this. And what we will do is we're going to build a piston elevator, but instead we are going to face it down like so, just to make it smaller. And what we're going to do is we're going to point it up like this and put these on top, and we're going to go one, two, three, four. We're going to look upward with this piston, or uh, uh, observer. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go out two blocks, and you can put in your floor of your elevator right here. And you're going to use the terracotta of your choice for the wall of your elevator, and you're gonna hold on to it like that. And that's all there is to the elevator. So let's move it up. That's all there is to it. When you decide the height you want it at, have a obsidian block where you want it to stop. So this would be our platform. This is going to be where it would stop. And so what we're going to do is we're going to have a door that opens and closes like this. So it's going to look a little something like that. And so what we're going to do is we're going to put two on this side and one on this side like so. We're going to put some sticky pistons right here. One, two, three. 
we're going to put this is what we're going to need for the top overall if I switch to it look at my hotbar now this is what we're going to be using we're going to put um, pistons right here and so now these are going to push and push to open and to close it and so if you wanted to put more up here you can make a hidden roof but that's basically all there is to it so now let's go ahead and start building the redstone for it so what you want to do is you want to power redstone through this top terracotta box what we're going to do is we're going to put this here we're going to put this here we're going to fire a repeater through it so that it comes out the other side like this and what we want to do is lead that down so we don't interfere with the pistons and we are going to make a delay like this. And this will take a while to shut off. And that way we'll be able to have it hold on a little bit before it closes again. And so now let's wire this up. So to push these when it comes through, what we're going to do is when it first has a signal, we're going to send a repeater forward. And we're going to watch that repeater with an observer. And we're going to watch the repeater with an observer this way and then watch that observer. And so this is going to be one tick and two ticks. And so it will fire for two ticks so that it doesn't push the blocks forward and leave them. And so now all you have to do is lead it in like so. And in order to do that, you need to block that off. And so that is going to cause these to fire, see? So now let's do the other side that closes it when we're done. And so we're going to lead in to the top block like this. And that will cause, because it powers here and they're kind of a block above, this is going to power all three of them. And we are going to bring in a, a, an observer like this. And that observer is going to be watching, oops, that observer is going to be watching one that's facing this way. And what we want to do is we want to invert the signal that comes off through here when it shuts off. So what we're going to do is we're going to invert the signal like this. We're going to lead it into a block. We're going to have a torch on that block. That torch is going to power another torch. And then they're going to both try and power a block. And that's all there is to it. And so now that will close it. And that will open it. Make sure you put a redstone dust right here, though. I waited to do it so that we didn't trigger it. So now that's all there is. And so what that will do is that will open it when we get there, and it will close it when we leave. You ready to test it? Um, before we strap a button on, let's go ahead and test it like so, as if we were going to put a button on by doing this. And so now, if we had a button, let's go get a button. By signaling that, it's going to go, and then when it leaves, It's going to close. Why didn't it close? Oh, I always forget the dust there. Make sure you have dust all the way to this torch. So now when we trigger this with a piston, say, it's going to come up and see that opens it if it was closed. And see now it will close when we leave. like that. And so you can put in your walls here if you like so that you can't see your pistons. So there you go. That's all you have to do. And so now, let's say we had a recall button. We made a button right here that runs down and pushes this. And see it's closed. Oh no, we're going to suffocate. Nope. And so now that's that's a working elevator. Go ahead and leave the video now if you're not interested, but what I want to show you right now is what it would look like once we have the shaft in, because that's the whole point of making a one-by-one one piston elevator, is having it be one-by-one. One. So you want it to be like this, and it'll come down, and you would have your platform right here. And make sure, because there's a slime block here, that you would have your terracotta here. And so if you had your roof like this, and you could wrap 
you can't put any immediate here, but you could wrap it all the way around like this if you wanted. I'm not going to do it because it would take a bit, but you could wrap it like this so that it's dark and so that you can't see up. But fundamentally, that's a working system. Let me go ahead and show you, since you're still here, how we're going to do this button. We're going to put a button like so. Pretty easy, right? And so we're gonna have a button like this. Doop, 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 doop. And so what we'll do is we'll put a button here. And now we've got a way to go up. Let's see, we won't take any damage or anything. It's going to open just in time for us. And then we could make a recall button that's secret, like so, if we wanted. Um, I'm not going to wire up this button. You would just need to bring this button all the way around to here. But let's say we wanted to do a recall button, and we could put it right here. And so our regular button would be right here. You would just need to leave redstone and down. All right, we'll go ahead and do it. Do do do. Do do do. Do 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 do. There. Happy. I'm happy. We're in the territory of why not. So that's going down. And we want to have our recall button power right here. So what we will do is we would power it over and power a piston with some slime blocks. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And we'll give it another. We'll give it another, and we would put um, a block down. This is just how you do. This is just how you do a block tower. And so what we could do is we could do it so that it comes all the way down. And we don't actually need much more. I'm going to do this. And then we could have our redstone like this. Keep swapping out the wrong block. There we go. And all you'd have to do is power this piston, and then we'd be done. So let's say we want to come from this way. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're running out, so put a compare or a repeater in here so that our signal's strong enough. And that's all you have to do. And so that would cause it to recall. And so you could have a secret recall button that you came in and put on if you knew where it was you can see it's coming whoop there's our secret elevator so there you go basic one by one elevator compact hidden if you'd like it to be subscribe if you haven't we're gonna be doing a lot more things this is just for completion so that we have 1 through 12 and now we've got it they'll all be in the playlist I'll put it in the description now have a good rest of your day bye